On today's episode of the Culture Corner, we visit the island of Kandavu to learn more about the legend behind the ancient Fijian custom of turtle calling. Namuana nestles at the foot of a beautiful bay adjacent to the government station in Vunisea Harbour on Kandavu. Here, the island of Kandavu narrows down, and by climbing the hill behind Namuana village, one can stand on the saddle and look out to the sea to the south and to the north. The custom of turtle calling of Namuana on Kandavu is based on an ancient legend which is still passed down from father to son. Many, many years ago, in the beautiful village of Namuana, there lived a very lovely princess called Tinai Rambonga, who was the wife of the chief of Namuana village. Tinai Rambonga had a charming daughter called Rondalide, and the two women often went fishing on the reefs around their home. On one particular occasion, Tinai Rambonga and Rondolide went further afield than usual and waded out to the submerged reefs which jut out from the rocky headland to the east of the bay. They became so engrossed with their fishing that they did not notice the stealthy approach of a great war canoe filled with fishermen from the nearby village of Nambukelevu. This village is situated in the shadow of Mount Washington, the highest mountain on Kandavu Island. Suddenly, the fishermen leapt from their canoe and seized the two women bound their hands and feet with vines and set off in grace haste for home. Suddenly, the fishermen leapt from their canoe and seized the two women, bound their hands and feet with vines and set off in great haste for home. The cruel warriors from Nambukelevu were deaf to the pleadings and would not listen to the entreaties of the women. The gods of the sea, however, were kind and soon a great storm arose and the canoe was tossed about by the huge waves which almost swamped it. As the canoe was foundering in the sea, the fishermen were astonished to notice that the two women lying in the water in the hold of the canoe had suddenly changed into turtles, and to save their own lives, the men seized them and threw them into the sea. As they slipped over the side of the canoe, the weather changed and there were no more waves. The Nambukelevu fishermen continued their journey back to their home village and the two women from Namuana who had been changed to turtles on the waters of the bay. It is their descendants today who rise when the maidens of their own village sing songs to them from the cliffs. The women of Namuana village still preserve this strange ritual of calling turtles from the sea. All the maidens of the village assemble on the rocks above the water and begin to sing a melodious chant. Slowly, one by one, giant turtles rise to lie on the surface in order to listen to the strange chant. You may doubt the truth of the legend, but you cannot doubt the fact that the chanting of this strange song does in fact lure the giant turtles to the surface of the blue waters of the bay near Namuana village on the island of Kandavu. The strange power of calling these turtles is possessed only by the people of Namuana village and it is true that should a member of their traditional enemy tribe from the village of Nambukelevu further down the coast be present, then no turtles will rise. Social Plug Fiji Click on the subscribe button to stay up to date on all our latest videos.